There are many uses of salt in our daily life and salts are used as a bleaching agent, fertilizer, food coloring, and disinfectant. Salt is a compound that is produced when the hydrogen ion from an acid is replaced by a metal or an ammonium ion. There are two types of salt, soluble and insoluble salts. All nitrate salts are soluble in water. Most sulfate salts are soluble, except barium sulfate, calcium sulfate, and lead-2 sulfate. Most carbonate salts are insoluble, except sodium carbonate, potassium carbonate, and ammonium carbonate. Most chloride salts can dissolve in water, except silver chloride and lead-2 chloride. Sodium, potassium, and ammonium salts can be prepared through the neutralization reaction between an acid and an alkali. For example, sodium chloride can be prepared by the reaction between sodium hydroxide solution and hydrochloric acid. Let's observe how sodium chloride salt is prepared. Measure 25 cubic centimeters of 2.0 mole per cubic decimeter sodium hydroxide using a pipette. Transfer the measured sodium hydroxide into the conical flask. Add two drops of phenolphthalene into the conical flask. Why does the solution become pink? The solution becomes pink because of the presence of phenolphthalene in the alkali solution. Titrate the alkali solution with 2.0 mol per cubic decimeter of hydrochloric acid from the burette until the end point is reached. Can you predict the amount of hydrochloric acid needed to neutralize 25 cubic centimeters of the sodium hydroxide solution? The amount of hydrochloric acid needed to neutralize 25 cubic centimeters of sodium hydroxide solution is 25 cubic centimeters. The experiment is repeated without adding in phenolphthalein. Why is this so? The experiment is repeated without adding in phenolphthalein because the presence of phenolphthalein will result in producing impure sodium chloride crystals.
click on the heating and evaporation button. Transfer the sodium chloride from the conical flask into an evaporating dish. Gently heat the sodium chloride solution to one third of its original volume to produce a saturated solution. Click on the crystallization button. The hot saturated solution is now left to cool for crystallization to take place. Click on the filtration and drying button. The sodium chloride crystals are then filtered using a filter funnel. Rinse the crystals in the filter funnel with a little distilled water. The sodium chloride crystals are then dried in a desiccator. We have now obtained a sample of sodium chloride crystals using the neutralization reaction. The steps involved in the preparation of sodium chloride salts are as follows. Titration Heating and evaporation Cooling and crystallization and filtration and drying. In the titration process, using the burette and pipette correctly will determine the end point accurately. This is necessary in the preparation of pure salts. Correct filtering techniques are used in the filtration process to ensure that salts are properly separated from the impurities or from the mixture. Preparing a saturated solution is an important step before crystallization. A solution that is heated gently until one-third of the original volume remains is known as a saturated solution. Crystallization occurs when the saturated solution cools and salt crystals are formed.